Well, good day to everybody who's listening today. It's my pleasure to speak to you here um, from Catrum School. Um, and as you've just heard, I'm Matthew Godfrey. I teach English here, but um, I actually oversee all of the admissions into Catrum School. And so in that capacity, I very much hope that I can welcome you to visit us here um, at our school one day. Um, in fact, we have been so delighted this week, just two days ago, to welcome all of our pupils back into our school. Um, and uh, it's a beautiful day here, and so we're all feeling very positive. Um, particularly after all the difficulties that people have had. So anyway, um, I'm going to go through a few slides now. The first slide here uh, shows our um, school uh, slogan, which is Insp Inspiring Education for Life. Um, uh, uh, I will tell you a little bit about the school today, but it's really important that uh, in our heart here in Caterham School, we want to inspire our pupils. We want them from day one to feel happy here and to go out into the world uh, bolder and better people. Um, so in this picture, you can see a little bit of the valley where Caterham is set. The first thing I want to tell you is we are blessed with a beautiful setting. Uh, we have our own valley here at Caterham. We have 200 acres. Um, there is woodland, there is open space, and there are wonderful facilities. Um, it's also incredibly convenient. Um, we're just basically in South London. Uh, we're very close to Heathrow and Gatwick airports, and so we are accessible. Um, and importantly for all parents, um, it is a very safe campus. Um, because we are blessed uh, to be in a, a village called Caterham, uh, which is just on the edge of London with a train service into London. But it is a very um, quiet um, and safe uh, neighbourhood to be in. Um, and I very much hope, as I say, to welcome you here one day. Um, so um, Caterham is uh, proudly um, strong with its academics. Um, and uh, we are consistently um, one of the top performing pupils on a number of levels, not least academic results. But most importantly to us, uh, pupils who come here do better than they can expect uh, normally. That is what we call adding value. Um, and at both at GCSE and A level, we have consistently shown that uh, pupils overperform. They do better than they might do elsewhere. And we're very proud of that. Um, I'll come on to the reasons why that is later, but at A-levels, um, we were delighted this year um, that 36% of our grades were the top grade. Um, and uh, that is a record for the school because we seem to be getting a little bit better every year, um, but it has always been the case that our pupils do very well um, at A-level. So those are just some um, figures for you there. Uh, same goes for GCSE. Um, at grade nine, which as you probably know is the top level for GCSE, 40% um, of our grades this year um, were the top grade um, and 66% fell in the top two grades, grades nine um, and eight. And so as it says in italics on the board, the average grade profile for a Caterhamian is 10 grade eights. So um, we're very proud of our pupils. Um, who have performed so well um, over so many years. But you'll notice on this slide at the bottom, um, even though we are proud of our academic performance, uh, we do aim for a balance. Um, and um, uh, we feel we set a perfect balance between um, academic rigor and pastoral welfare. And we see those two things as connected. We think that a, a bright pupil um, who wants to do well academically um, there is no reason why they shouldn't enjoy that aspect of their life, as well as, of course, um, enjoying an environment um, where they feel comfortable, safe and happy. Um, this picture shows some of our pupils outdoors. We are very keen on the outdoors. We are blessed with beautiful sight, uh, including woodland that you see here. So we do want people to get out and enjoy themselves. Um, and you will see that for yourself if you visit us here. Um, Oxbridge is um, an important aspect of life, not the most important, but it is important for you to know that many of our pupils do aspire to go to the top universities. And the numbers on the slide here show you the number of pupils from Caterham School who go to Oxford or Cambridge each year. 
it represents about 10% of our levers every year. And uh, we, we are very proud of that record. That is a very good record of success. Um, and um, of course, not everybody wants to go to Oxford or Cambridge. Um, it, it is really important for you to know that a priority for us um, when your children reach the sick form is to give them very detailed guidance as to what will happen to them after school. So uh, as I say, some will want to go to the top universities. Um, some will want to go um, to other universities, maybe Russell Group universities, which are also fantastic universities in the UK. Increasingly, some wish to go abroad and study either back home in the country where they came from um, or, or maybe elsewhere. Uh, some of them go into business straight away um, and uh, go through a, a, a degree apprenticeship whereby you get a degree uh, while working in the workplace. Um, anyway, so the point is whatever our students' aspirations, we set the bar high, we challenge them to be the very best person they can be. Um, now, one very important aspect of school life is preparing pupils, as I said, for university and adult life. Um, even though we, have, we are blessed with inspiring teachers, and that is the core of what we do, uh, that is not good enough if the pupils cannot learn for themselves. So we have integrated into our curriculum uh, what we call learning to learn. Um, and so as this picture is designed to sort of demonstrate the ability to learn for yourself, and to feel inspired to learn for yourself is an important part of what Caterham does. And um, we call it learning to learn. It's all because when the pupils leave the school, um, we want them to feel independent and proud and able to work for themselves. So um, learning to learn is an important part of what we do. Um, now, of course, not everyone has these skills straight away. Um, we did uh, receive an award recently for the Study Buddy Programme. So when your children, uh, whether they be boys or girls, because of course, uh, Caterham is a co-educational school, when they join the school, uh, they will be given a study buddy, which is a pupil a little bit older than them, who has got to know the way we do things at Caterham, and who meets with them once or twice a week, and just talks to them about how they're getting on, and passes on any wisdom or any experience that they have had, um, which might help the younger pupil. Um, it's also a great way to bring the community together uh, and to get people talking to each other. Um, and that is something I will refer to again later. One thing that perhaps sets Caterham apart from other schools as well is, is what we call digital evolution. Uh, you'll all be aware, I'm sure many of you uh, use technology in your own jobs um, and uh, no doubt your your children also are good with technology. Um, Caterham is an award-winning uh, Apple Distinguished School. Now what that means is even though we still value and cherish conventional teaching, uh, all of us teachers here have been trained to use technology in an innovative um, uh, and educational way. So every pupil who joins our school is given an Apple um, iPad and um, they will use that not only to organize themselves but also it is used as a as a tablet in, in, in schools, in, a very, in classes, sorry, in, an, in a very innovative way. And we were very proud to get this prestigious award uh, about our use of technology. We, we want pupils to understand the power and the use of technology. We also want to teach them about the, uh, uh, some of the dangers, should we say, or some of, the, um, uh, some of the apprehensions people have about technology, not, not to be too dependent on it. So, um, uh, that, that's an important part of what we do here. Okay, so all I'm fully aware as a former housemaster myself that um, you know, you, you'll be interested in who is actually looking after your sons and daughters um, when they arrive in the school. So um, I, I'm assuming that all of your children will be boarders. Now, Caterham um, has a very interesting organisation, which is that we have a school of about 900 pupil, 930 pupils um, with a smaller boarding community within it. So we have 175 boarders in our school um, and um, we think that is just the perfect number because um, 
it is a very warm and close-knit community, the boarding community, where everybody knows each other. Um, we have a wonderful mix of personalities and nationalities in the boarding school. Um, uh, we have about 17 different nationalities at this point in time in the boarding, in the boarding community. Um, and what we find is when the boarders arrive here, they, they feel immediately part of the family. The picture here shows Mrs. Quinton, who is in charge of all the girls um, in the boarding community. Um, but the other advantage uh, the boarders have is that during the day, they are mixing with a much greater pool of people, um, all of whom live relatively locally to the school. Um, so we have British boarders, we have international boarders, and the day pupils befriend the boarders and have lessons with them during the day. So we are fully integrated in that respect. One of the reasons why Caterham is so popular, and one of the many reasons, is because of the quality of the boarding provision and the experience the boarders have. Um, and um, um, the boarding community is really the, the, the heart and the hub of, of the school. So, um, yeah. This slide just shows somebody swimming. We have a beautiful swimming pool, um, a 25 metre pool in our sports centre here. Um, but the other pictures on the slide just really demonstrate the need and the importance of things outside the classroom. We are a very busy school. And as I speak to you now through that door behind me, there is all sorts of sport going on, socially distanced, of course. Um, but the pupils are outside taking exercise, getting to know each other. Um, and um, so whether it be music, drama, sport, um, activities of any kind, uh, it is an important part of school life. We do them at lunchtime during the day, every day, and we do them um, in the evenings as well before um, many of the children go home. And we also do them at the weekends. Um, you may know that Caterham, of course, is famous for its, uh, its school. Um, uh, Caterham School, but also it's famous for a make of car called the Caterham Car. This is it on the slide. Really sporty, very fast little sports car. And uh, every year um, a team of our pupils come together and make uh, a Caterham car. We are given the kit and they make it and then it is sold back to the company. So it's just one example of what we call the innovative spirit of our school. And we're always looking for new projects, new opportunities for our our pupils to get involved in. Um, and one of the one aspect of that is um, what we call innovative uh, learning, um, which I mentioned briefly. Um, but we want, as the slide says here, we want our students to leave as accomplished problem solvers and innovators. We are trying to educate our children to understand that when they leave us and go into the adult world, well, that world is changing all the time because of technology and different types of jobs. And we want them to be nimble and on their feet so that they are prepared to face any challenge that comes their way. So this um, uh, boy in the slide is, 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 is using an advanced form of Lego to build a robot. Um, it's just one example of the kind of thing that we get our students to do to kind of keep them on their toes outside of lesson time. Uh, to really develop all sorts of problem solving skills. Okay, um, so we are a globally minded school. We are blessed um, with uh, an international community. Um, we are on the edge of London. Uh, we are an outward looking globally minded school. Um, we keep in touch with all of our pupils once they've left. Um, and we ask our pupils to advise and support uh, we're sorry, we ask our alumni, our former pupils, to advise and support pupils as they make their decisions, what they're going to do when they leave our school. This slide here also shows the international opportunities that our pupils have. Um, we have uh, sister schools in both the United States of America and also Tanzania. And they're two totally different types of schools. And when they're in the sixth form, our pupils have a chance to go and see them and spend time in there. And um, we also have partnerships with other schools in the UK um, of very different kinds. We believe that it's all part of our experience at Caterham is to get pupils outside their normal comfort zones and witnessing other cultures, seeing the way the world operates on a wider level. Um, okay, so 
I'm coming towards the end of my presentation now and I'm looking forward to answering any questions you might have. Um, I think this slide for me is, 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 is important. It just shows how students lead confident in their ability to lead. Now, um, not everyone when they arrive in school um, is a natural leader. Um, if they want to become a leader, we're going to help them do that. Um, and uh, some pupils may choose as they get older not to be leaders of organisations or whatever, but we want them to feel that they can if they want to. So we are a school where we're trying to build dreams and give people the confidence to do whatever it is that they want. Okay, so I've already talked about boarding, but we, we really, uh, I did want to include this slide for you because it's likely your children will be boarders in our school. Um, the bullet points on there show um, everything that we do for the boarders. And I uh, am very proud that particularly um, in Hong Kong and China, we have a long and proud history of welcoming pupils um, uh, who literally, they love our school. And I'm very privileged um, in that I get to visit um, cities in China and I come to Hong Kong once a year. Sadly, I won't be able to come this year because of uh, coronavirus. And every time I go, we have a celebration with our alumni who are now living in those places. And um, they always speak very fondly about Caterham School um, and uh, that is really important to us. Because let's face it, um, we want our school to be somewhere uh, where they have memories they can cherish. And while some of those memories will be in the classroom, there will be inspiring teachers who they remember for the rest of their lives. The reality is many of our best memories at school are collected outside the classroom. And so uh, I did want to just emphasize the point that um, we are a very strong community and um, uh, people who leave Caton School do so with lifelong friendships. Okay, so I thought it might be helpful just to finish on, uh, on this slide um, because I very much hope that you will be interested in applying to join Caton School. Uh, we are a very popular school, we are a selective school, it is competitive entry, um, but nonetheless um, uh, we, uh, when we're assessing pupils, we, we don't only look for academic ability, we look for personality and character uh, because we want to bring in all sorts of different people into our school. So just a few headlines on the slide there. If you're looking to join us, uh, if your children are looking to join us aged 13 into year nine, the deadline for applications is the 19th of October. Um, and if you do apply for 13 plus, then you will be asked to do entrance papers, which is in maths and English, sometime between now and the 12th of November. Um, and we also interview every single pupil, uh, normally by Skype, but um, it can be done um, in person if you happen to be in the country. Um, similar dates for 16 plus, so we do have pupils joining us just for the last two years, the sixth form at Caterham School. Um, the closing date for those applications is just a little later, 28th of October, um, and Pupils who join us for uh, 16 plus, um, that is for our A-level program, we are an A-level school, um, uh, they will do exams in the subjects they want to study at A-level. It's really just to help us understand what level they have at the moment. Um, and uh, those exams will take place uh, between now and the 12th of November as well. So I put a link on that slide to our admissions website so you can read more about the process. Um, if you have any questions or you want any instructions or any information at all, um, I would encourage you to contact um, my colleague, Mrs. Alison Hill, at that email address. She um, will advise and deal with any kind of um, uh, inquiries about boarding admissions. And of course, she can always refer you to me should you want to know anything more. Um, but uh, anyway, thank you so much for listening. Wallace, I see you've popped up on my screen again. I'm now coming to the end. So I don't know if anyone would like to ask me any questions, but I'm, I'm here to answer if you'd like me to. Shall I stop my slideshow now? Uh, Matthew, you can keep it on, thank you. Uh, okay. Yes, and uh, I'll begin to ask some of the questions that are coming in. I believe we have time for a few of these questions. Uh, I think the biggest question that uh, we're seeing now with a lot of viewers is, is regarding uh, entry and admissions. Now, first question is, uh, we see that uh, you accept 13 plus and a 16 plus. These are the two main entry points. 
does Caterham also accept uh, students that are in between uh, a year 10 student, for example, or if they're 14 or 15 years old? Yeah. Will they be able to uh, yes. Um, one thing I, I, I should say, yeah, well, the main entry points are at 13 plus and 16 plus, year 9 and year 12. However, we do remain, we do keep open a small number of places for year 10 entry. And so just this week, uh, we have had um, some girls and boys joining us as boarders in year 10. So I, I haven't put those dates on there, but they are the same as the 13 plus dates. So if you do want to um, apply for a 14 plus place, that is to join year 10, um, it's the same dates as a 13 plus. Um, I didn't put it on there simply because we have fewer people applying. Um, I should say also, um, um, yeah, no, I, I, don't, I don't need to say anything else, that's fine. It, it's really just 13 plus, 14 plus and 16 plus. Thank you, Matthew. Well, except, sorry, I, I remember now what it was. Uh, our senior school actually starts at, in, in year seven. So I'm, I'm mindful that many of your families will not uh, want their children to start in school until 13. However, uh, we do have a day school um, community which starts in year seven. Um, so if there are families who are relocating to the UK and their children can join our school at age 11, um, uh, there is a process involved in that as well. And uh, rather than go on about that now, I will just refer you to the, the website on that. Thank you, Matthew, it's very clear. Now, uh, in terms of the application process and uh, assessments, how would that typically look for a family that's interested in applying from Hong Kong? Yeah, okay, well, it's very straightforward. Um, now, one thing we do ask, if any family is applying from anywhere in the world, including Hong Kong, uh, that we will refer them to one of our trusted agents in Hong Kong. I work very closely, for example, um, in China with BE Education and in Hong Kong with Academic Asia. So if you inquire to our school using the email on this slide, um, one of the things we will do is, is give you the details of our trusted agent in Hong Kong. They know our school very well. They visit us regularly. They are uh, very accustomed to sending people to Caterham School. And so they have all the information that you need. And if necessary, they can speak to you in your first language as well. Um, anyway, they will deal with the application. But in a nutshell, what will happen is you will have a, an initial conversation with the agent, um, which in Hong Kong is Academic Asia. Um, you will then um, uh, arrange a date um, to have an interview with um, maybe me or, or one of my colleagues here at Caterham School, uh, which will be arranged via Skype. Um, and you will also arrange to have an exam. And um, uh, there will probably be a, an exam day, which the agent hosts for anyone who's interested in our school. So that's all gonna happen between now and November. Um, so as I say, it's an interview and an exam. Um, now, that will all be finished um, uh, by the 12th of November. Uh, we will process all our applications and give you a decision before um, what in the UK we call our Christmas holiday. So by about mid-December. And then um, you will receive an offer or, um, or we'll put you on a waiting list or we'll give you some other kind of response. And then you will have about a month, uh, a little more than a month actually, to consider our offer and to decide whether you're going to accept. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, and just uh, a question about the examination. Uh, what, uh, what subjects will be assessed during the examination? Yeah, good question. So um, at 13 plus, it's quite straightforward. It's a maths exam and an English exam. Um, in the English exam, it, it's a comprehension and a creative writing task. Um, but both exams last only about 45 minutes. Um, at 16 plus, uh, let's say, for example, you've applied to Caterham School to read maths, physics, or maths, further maths, physics, and chemistry, for example. Um, then we will give you uh, an assessment in those three subjects, maths, physics, and chemistry. Of course, we're not expecting you to know all the A-level syllabus at all now, um, but um, we will just be interested to know what level you have. We will also assess your English, just your English written writing skills, uh, because that's the case for all people. We need to know what level of English you have. Um, and um, yeah, so that, that's what the exams involve. As I said, every pupil is interviewed as well. 
um, every, every, everyone who does well enough in the exams goes through to a, an interview. Um, yeah, that's what, one thing I haven't mentioned is, is visiting our school. Of course, we're living in a strange world now, but it is normally the case that if, um, if, if people are offered a place in our school, they, they normally want to come and visit this school before they commit to coming. And we, of course, we welcome that. We do understand that it might not be possible uh, to do that because of the coronavirus situation. And so we, we will be um, uh, doing lots of virtual visitor mornings. Uh, we will be sending films out of the school. Um, people like me will be available to speak to families if they need to. So if the situation is such that you cannot visit the school before committing your child to come, then we will do all we can. And one thing I didn't mention, I'm sorry if I'm talking too much, everyone who is offered a place in our school uh, will be given the opportunity to, to, to be welcomed by an ambassador family. So for example, families in Hong Kong, uh, if your child has been offered a place, uh, or even if, yeah, and you want to talk to another family or several families about their experience at Caterham School, then we have plenty of families who are really keen to meet you. Uh, Caterham families who are living in Hong Kong. And uh, they will, uh, it would be very, be my pleasure to team you up with those families and to, uh, just so, so you can feel more confident about the process. Thank you, Matthew. And, and just to uh, touch up upon that, um, I assume, uh, are, are there any differences for the exam between, you know, 13, 14, 15, and 16 uh, years old? Um, do you mean the exams that they do to gain entry into our school? Correct, for the main entry points, correct. Um, the main, the, uh, all pupils do the same exam, if, that, if that's what you mean. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I see. Well, sorry, I beg your pardon. Yes, it, it, 13 plus. And so if you're, the exams you do at 13 plus entry are a little bit different to the ones for 14 plus, only because we might expect at age 14 for them to have a bit more mathematical knowledge. Um, and also, we don't want all the exams to be the same because um, the children, of course, will talk to each other about their exams. So no, they're, they're a little bit different. Uh, the, the tests that they do at 14 plus are a little bit more demanding than the ones they do at 13 plus and at 16 plus a little bit more demanding still. Um, yeah, um, as I said, we are academically selective, but we don't, we don't place all our importance on academic achievement. So it's very important for your candidates or your pupils to, to, to remember that even if they feel an exam hasn't gone that well, we still will be looking at their school report we still will be talking to them in an interview and we will be looking at the whole picture, not just their performance on one exam on one day. Great, thank you, Matthew. And uh, I believe that's all the time that we have. Now, before I let you go, uh, again, thank you for joining us. It's great to know uh, all of this about Cater. Um, um, do you have any parting words for our attendees and viewers today? Um, well, maybe just one thing, uh, well, two, if I may. Firstly, uh, I, I know what it's like when you're a long way away from a school like ours. Really, uh, the ideal thing is to, to either speak to people who know our school or maybe come and visit our school. And we, we will do all that we can to make both of those things possible. The second thing I wanted to say is I'm very mindful of the, the difficult situation uh, we are all in with um, schools sometimes having to close. I know that in Hong Kong, schools are not yet open. Um, but one thing uh, that has been a great comfort to our parents at Caterham School is, is that our quality of digital learning, uh, so di virtual learning, has been excellent. And so um, when our school, like every other school um, pretty much in the world, had to close down, uh, we did find that our pupils engaged very well with our virtual learning program. Um, and actually, we have one or two pupils who've been delayed arriving in school this, uh, this term but um, they are still very engaged in the school, uh, attending all of their lessons virtually because each of our um, classrooms has a camera in it. And so even if the, the child cannot be there in person, they are very much part of the, the, the lesson. So um, uh, of course, we all hope that the coronavirus nightmare will end altogether very soon, but it is some comfort to parents, I think, that whatever happens at Caterham School, we're, we're gonna remain connected and uh, the pupils will continue to learn and be um, inspired by their teachers.